I don't get on roller coasters. They scare me. Always have. I was on this one when I was a kid and it was going around and up and, and swinging, but then it stopped and I thought, oh my God, I'm so glad it's done. It started going backwards. It went backwards. Oh, I, I don't know if I puked or thought I was going to, but uh, that was uh, traumatic. Uh, what was the question again? Oh, well, that wasn't really an answer, was it? Steve Weiner from GetRemix.com, and today we're going to be taking a look at how we can import ADMX files into Intune when we want to use like uh, what used to be group policy from different third-party apps. So it's very, very exciting. Oh, you asked what I had for breakfast. I don't know how we got on the topic of roller coasters. Okay, so we, before we start today and jump into the lab and I show you how to do what I'm going to show you, what I want to explain is in the very beginning of Intune, this has always existed. The idea of taking uh, third-party group policy templates. Uh, originally, Chrome was the big one. Maybe it was Firefox or um, you know uh, Zoom or whatever apps you were using that your policies for. We needed a way to ingest those into Intune, and there was such a way. So I wrote this, uh, I wrote it in 2020. I originally wrote it on an older blog. I think it was called Steve's Couch Reviews. That was before Get Rubik's. But the point is, uh, this was my follow-up. And, and this is interesting. I'm going to put a link down, not to do this. There's, you don't have to do this anymore. But it, for the nerds out there like me, I think it's really interesting to see how far the process has come uh, and what we used to have to do to manually get a ADMX ingestion going into Intune and setting policy that way. I, I know I've always gotten a kick out of it and, you know, having to work on this all the time for customers early on because we couldn't, uh, you know, Azure AD join a machine without this. It was really crucial to be able to have that. So seeing how far it's come to me always makes the, the modern, uh, it makes us appreciate the modern process uh, better. But let's take a look at the modern way to uh, do things. So now what we have is when we go to our configuration profiles, we have a very nice little import ADMX button. So how does this work and, and what do we do and, and what's a good example of this, right? Um, so we're going to, let's say we have on our client machines, I have Firefox installed, right? So I make Firefox available for my users to download and browse with, but it's not managed. So if you want to manage it, you need the policy. So to do this in Intune, uh, we first need to get the ADMX. So if we click import, it wants the ADMX file. Um, ADMX is basically a template of policies that the publisher uh, produces. Um, ADML is a default language file as well, if you have different, uh, different ones there. So I went out and Googled Firefox ADMX, and of course we found it here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to download it. Um, so it looks like it takes us to a GitHub uh, page, which is fine. Let's go grab the zip. I have not done this in this tenant yet, so we're going to find out together. So let's see what's in here. So we have Mac, Windows, so Windows. Yeah, so there's Firefox, ADMX. Um, we have the language pack, so we'll just do English but you can do any of the ADMLs you want. Now, this is actually interesting. I don't know if we need the Mozilla one. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and click here and navigate over to the ADMX we just downloaded, Windows, Firefox, ADMX. And we're gonna do the same thing and pick the language pack. Like I said, I'm gonna keep it um, English. Yep, you've seen it grabs it there. So let's hit next. And that should be it. So I'm gonna hit create. So you're going to see the upload and process. We're going to give it a few to actually finish. And uh, then we'll take a look at actually applying policies from that. Now, this is actually interesting. I don't know if we need the Mozilla one. Okay, so it was a good thing I asked this because it turns out our upload failed. So uh, generally errors are tricky. So in this case, it's saying it couldn't find the namespace Mozilla policies. It's what I thought. I should have listened to myself. Okay, so we do need Mozilla up there. So let's get rid of this. And this was a big thing in the past, right? You would still, you would have to like chain these together. So in this case, it looks like I need Mozilla first.
which even their documents don't explain. Oh, wow. So this is okay. So we have removal in progress and upload in progress. I hope they don't bump into each other. Okay. So we refreshed. So now we say this is available. Perfect. Okay. That's now we're going to go ahead and upload the Firefox one, Firefox ADMX and Firefox ADML. And while we're waiting for that, I'm just going to show you why, because I, I used to dig into these all the time. If we were to open this guy up, it's really just giant XML. So you can see using prefix Mozilla. So it's referencing this namespace of Mozilla policies. So that's probably why it couldn't find it. Okay. And now they are both available. All right. So what do we do? How do we set these? We're going to set them like anything else. We go to policies and create new policy and we choose Windows 10 and later. We're gonna to go to templates. So when you look at the templates, you're gonna see imported administrative templates, which is still in preview, but let's be honest, most things in the Microsoft world sit there for preview for a very long time. Um, so we're just gonna say Firefox policy. I'll say this is default Firefox browser policy. I don't know what I'm going to do in it yet. Um, and if you take a look at this, this looks very similar to the, uh, the Microsoft ADMX ones that you can choose from that are built in. So Mozilla Firefox and take a look at this. This is, this is just like it was with group policy. So it's really, really nice. Um, it's nice that it's a very familiar, uh, layout. So let's do some simple stuff. Let's do our so let's take a look at, um, let's see here. I'm going to search for private, uh, disable private browsing. We're going to enable that disable developer tools. Let's do that. I just want to do ones that like we can actually see, <laughs> see them working. And if we go to all settings, we'll see what we've uh, configured. So that's at the device level. And of course now that's, you know, if we open Firefox up, um, you know, we could easily do a new private window. We can turn on the, uh, developer tools if we want to, um, web developer tools. So we're, we're going to uh, try to push this and see how that works. So we got what we wanted. We have two settings and I'm just going to add to all devices just to make it easy. And obviously you can assign that however you want. So there we go. So let's let wait for the device to check in and then we'll see those policies take effect. Okay. We're back here at, um, the client. We're going to open Firefox up and we can see a few things. So uh, I cannot do a new private window. The keyboard shortcut doesn't work either. And if I go to more tools, you can see the developer tools and a few other things are all gone. So the policy works and we should also be able to see um, in the settings, we should be able to see if we're managed. Um, okay. So in the settings, you can see, it says here, your browser is being managed by your organization. And we could see that those policies applied. If we wanted to look even further, if you really want to do that, you can go. Okay. So if you go to local machine software, Microsoft policy manager, we can, you can see here, ADMX default is what came on the device. ADMX installed is what we've pushed. So you'll see here, this is our Intune provider and we've pushed Firefox. OneDrive gets pushed. Um, I believe it gets, I don't remember why it gets pushed there. Um, cause it technically is part of windows, but it's not probably cause we're pushing OneDrive policy, but anyway, yes, yeah, so you can see the policy. Um, and then this is what, where. This is what we're setting here. So you can see that's the, you can see this is the ADMX that's installed. Now, if we want to see the policy being set, we could do current, um, device. And if we go down to Firefox, you can see disable developer tools. Okay. It's such a one and the private, uh, browsing is set to one. Um, so there you go. Again, it's so weird. I remember sitting there working with, uh, 
customers who are early adopters of Intune and cloud joined devices and just trying to rack our brains to figure out how to make this work. It, it technically did, but every policy had a nuance to it. Firefox was different from Chrome, even some of the office ones. It was really weird. Um, some of the syntax and, and just some crazy stuff that went on. Uh, maybe Jesse will come on and tell you all about it. He took the brunt of it after a while, but uh, yeah. So um, let me know, hop in the discord. If you use this feature, what you think of it, if you remember the old days and uh, we are gearing up for uh, uh, another Intune suite video. I think you know what it's going to be, but it's going to be a big one coming up. So we'll see you then. Five, four, three, two, one.